Now mentioning Aadhaar number is compulsory for filing income tax returns. The Central Board of Direct Taxes has notified new income tax return forms for the assessment year 2017-18. In this video, we are going to look at some major changes made in recently notified ITR forms. Let's get started. Hello and welcome back guys. My name is Gaurav Jashnani and I am back with another informational video on recently notified ITR forms. Kindly subscribe to my channel to get notified about my future videos. Let's discuss some major changes made by tax department in recently notified ITR forms. Simplified one-page ITR form for salaried class taxpayers. One of the major reforms made in notified ITR forms is the designing of one-page simplified ITR1 form which is also known as ITR1 Sahaj. This ITR can be filed by an individual having income up to Rs 50 lakh and who is receiving income from salary, one house property and income from other sources. It has removed columns which are not frequently used by the taxpayers. This will reduce the compliance burden to a significant extent on the individual taxpayer. This initiative will benefit more than 2 crore taxpayers who will be eligible to file their return of income in this simplified form. Mentioning Aadhaar number along with PAN number is mandatory for filing income tax return. This is one of the significant change made by the tax department. Let me tell you why this is significant. Everyone provides PAN or Aadhaar number in bank as KYC. Mentioning both PAN number and Aadhaar number in the ITR form simply means a taxpayer won't be able to hide any bank details from the tax department. If any person does not possess the Aadhaar number, he can apply for Aadhaar and then he can quote enrollment ID of Aadhaar application in the ITR form. Disclosure of cash deposits during demonetization. In order to account for those who have deposited rupees 2 lakh or more in bank account during demonetization period that is from 9th November 2016 to 31st December 2016 the tax department has introduced a new column where the person filing ITR will have to give details of money deposited and bank account if person has deposited rupees 2 lakh or more he or she has to mention IFC code name of the bank account number along with the amount deposited in newly notified ITR forms Asset Liability Column Removed from ITR1 The Assets and Liability Column has been removed from ITR1 Sahaj form. Earlier, a person having income of more than Rs 50 lakh in a year has to declare assets and liabilities while filing income tax return. It has been done away with. Number of ITR form reduced The number of income tax forms has been reduced from earlier 9 to 7. ITR4 and ITR4S have been renumbered as ITR3 and ITR4 respectively. Which means old ITR4 will now become ITR3 and old ITR4S will now become ITR4. In my next video, I am going to show you how to file income tax return for salaried and business person for the assessment year 2017-18. If you find my videos helpful, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel to stay updated with my future videos. It is absolutely free to subscribe and kindly like, comment and share as much as possible as it will support the channel and I would be able to create more and more content in future. That's all I have for you today. This is Gaurav Jashnani signing off. See you soon in my next video.